Stephen Vermette is Professor of Geography at the State University of New York in Buffalo. Yeah, you know, this this is the um, Christmas blizzard of 22, I'll remember, for a long time. It's also referred to as a once-in-generation storm. Um, it started about six days ago. We had a low-pressure system move across the country and it caused havoc as it moved across the country. But when it hits the Great Lakes, the lakes have warm waters. They haven't frozen over yet. And those warm waters add a lot of energy to that storm, which increases the wind speeds and produces lake effect snow. So we had a triple threat. We had very cold temperatures from that trough of Arctic air. We had very strong winds and we had lots of snow coming off the lake in these what we call lake bands, lake effect snow. How bad is it where you are and how's it been for you and for your neighborhood? Well, it's, uh, I'm a little south of Buffalo, so I didn't get the worst of it, but I've been hearing from folks that are there, and it is it could not be much worse. Um, uh, the, 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 the horizontal snow, the strong winds, the, the biting cold, not only is it, you know, like minus 18, you know, colder than that with a wind chill of minus 30 Celsius, but you've got the, uh, the heavy amounts of snow. I, I think about 50 inches of snow fell in the city of Buffalo, um, and that's just hampering all, you know, any kind of movement. So even t at this moment, there's a ban, a travel ban in Buffalo. People talk about what they call snow blasting, where the snow is actually like sandblasting the sides of buildings. And, and you get a whitewash effect where the snow just sticks to the side of the buildings and has that, that white look. Uh, you, you cannot cross the street. It, it, was, it was an amazing storm. So there's all kinds of stories coming out now about how people have you know, huddled in warming centers and so on. Uh, the city is called the uh, city of good neighbors, and that's for a good reason. So people held up in restaurants and bars, and grocery stores and department stores, wherever they could be, and um, they, uh, they got together. And it was, it's a nice it's a nice bonding experience. But boy, that was a rough storm. So what's the forecast then for, for the hours uh, and, and the days ahead? Well, the um, the storm has mostly passed. We'll probably um, get another four or five inches of snow, maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, by uh, New Year's, we're going to have 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the crazy weather. So we're going to get a lot of melting. And in Buffalo, that means another problem. That means um, ice jamming in our rivers because you get sudden melting and uh, the ice blocks the water. We get a little bit of flooding. But hopefully that will not be much to be concerned about. But it looks like we'll be digging out for the next few days and maybe a week or so. Uh, Buffalo and the surrounding suburbs will be digging themselves out of the snow. Now, the area has had cold snap this before, but there's an element of this storm which, which seems to have taken everyone by surprise. Has the severity of this bomb cyclone been underestimated? No, I, 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 it may have been by folks. I know the National Weather Service was very clear that this was going to be a once-in-a-generation storm. Uh, the last time we had a storm like this was back in 1977. It was called the Blizzard of 77. Um, and I'm seeing much of the same hallmarks that I've seen in the past. The problem with emergency responders is they just could not get to people. And unfortunately, you know, I think there's about 50 deaths associated with the larger storm across the country. And about half of those are in the Buffalo, Western New York area. So people, it was, it was tough. People died in their cars. People died of carbon monoxide poisoning. People died from shoveling the snow. So it was a, a, a very, very severe event that will not soon be forgotten in Buffalo.